Hello friends, today we are working on lesson 6.3, which is about a weekly to-do list. And the entire purpose of this is to show you how you can update and add and view the entirety of a dictionary. So first thing we're gonna do is say, we're gonna name a weekly dictionary, which is just gonna be uh, where we keep our tasks. So weekly to-do list dictionary, right? And I'm just going to predefine it as a dictionary. And I'm going to say user input is, of course, equal to input. And here our prompt is, what would you like to do? Add an item or view the list? Question mark. And I want to add right here so the user knows the commands. Add is going to be simply add or view the list. And here, um, the whole point of this lab is that the user can kind of continuously select these items. They can continuously look at them. So of course, I want to say while user input is not equal to quit, a lot like we did in our unit one bonus. If you did that lab, we're going to continue doing our list. So here, I want to say if user input is equal to get, which is our first input, um, Luckily for Git, we have a very easy thing that we have to do. We just have to print the weekly to-do list dictionary. And that's really all it's going to be simply just because we want to uh, print, right? Else if user input equals add, which I need to put in quotation marks, we want to do two things. One, we want to ask them what they want to add. We want to ask them what they want to input. And then we also want to check and see if that thing already exists. Because if it does, we can't add it. So here I'm going to say user day add. And that is going to be a input prompt where I ask what day would you like to add an item to. And let me read the prompt real quick. So I just want to make sure. Um, what exactly I want to do properly. And then when we do add, and I'm just reading the prompt real quick, the program asks for a day of the week, and then asks for a new item, then adds it to the specified list. And the whole specific point of this is that we're doing lists, uh, not just days. So here, I'm going to say user add day add, and it's also going to say user, um, user day item. And that is going to be another input, which I will just rip from the input right above it. I'll go ahead and copy and paste, and it'll be say, it'll say, what item would you like to add to that day's list? And um, the secret here is that we want to do two things. We want to say if user, or I should say if, uh, let me think, user day add in weekly to-do list, we have one thing we want to do, and I also want an elif, and it is user day add, or actually we can just use a regular else statement, right? So what we're doing here is we're saying if the user if the user day add, so if the day that they want to add is already in our weekly to-do list dictionary, which it's not, if it's a key in there, which is specifically what we're asking, I want to say a weekly to-do list, and I'm going to name the specific day. So here it's going to be user day add. And I'm actually going to append something to it. And so this operates a lot like it would for a list because of course we wanna treat these day, uh, these to-do lists for each day as a list. And if that day does not exist, then I want to do much of the same where I'm going to name the specific key of our list and I want to equal that. And it's actually gonna be a list because I'm using the bracket notations. I'm going to say user day item. And it is that simple. If the item already exists, I'm going to add to it. If not, I will not add to it. And then finally, our second thing that we want to do is, I think actually that's it. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely it. So, um, and if the user tries to add an item that already exists on the list for that day. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and I'm going to run lesson 6.3. So you can say, what would I like to do? Um, I'm going to say add because that's the first thing I want. And we should get an input of some sort. The user input equals get add. So what we want to do right here is we want to add user input and we want to ask the user again exactly what they're doing. 
and that way we can continue using this while loop and let's go ahead and test it. So here, if I click run, what would I like to do? I'd like to add, and what day would I like to add an item to? I'm gonna say Friday. It's gonna ask me what item would I like to add to that list. I want to add get water. And we can see if I hit get, then we have that value displayed inside of a list for our particular dictionary for that particular key. And let's say I want to continue adding. I want to add now something else to Friday, and I want that to be uh, get apple juice. I click enter and I click get. You can see now I have Friday as the key, and my list is get water and get apple juice. And that is how you interact with lists inside of SAP.